Uh, my name is Tadis Petridis from uh, Consortium Geospatial, and today I'll talk about QMOCA, an application for managing and analyzing traffic accidents based on QGIS and PostgreSQL. Uh, the project was uh, commissioned by the Traffic Safety Department of the Greek uh, Ministry of Transport. Their key objective was to gather and analyze traffic yeah. accidents data on primary and trans-European yeah. network and their sources, the traffic police reports. Uh, their previous system uh, was based on deprecated technologies like SQL Server 2008, uh, minimal validation, and no geographic data whatsoever. Uh, the project brief in nutshell is like this. Uh, we migrated the data into new to newer technologies. Uh, we implemented validation rules. Uh, we properly implemented linear reference systems. Uh, we added the geo element, uh, providing a map, map, GIS, map GIS, uh, front end, and additionally we support them with network properties for better analysis. Uh, we divided the whole project in three steps. Uh, this uh, what? Oh, it's okay. Uh, no, okay. Uh, we divided the whole project into three steps. Uh, the first one was to. Uh, design and uh, implement a whole new data model. This was achieved with PostgreSQL. Uh, we implemented, uh, we modeled a network uh, with naming conventions, segment types, uh, multiple linear reference systems, and location rules and constraints. Uh, we modeled an accident vehicle passenger and pedestrian hierarchy, and also location by XY coordinates and a linear position through the Greek uh, coordinate system. Uh, we also implemented a uh, flexible event model where the administrators uh, could uh, manage and define more uh, events like traffic volumes, speed limits, physical hazards, and so on. Uh, so we went for the second step, which was data migration. Uh, we digitized and uh, we digitized the network geometries uh, and the at and the attributes from scratch. Uh, we created migration scripts, uh, where the most difficult part was to match routes between the older system with the newer one, and to remove or merge the duplicate routes. And after that, we went for the accident data migration. For the step three, uh, it was for the GIS front end, and that was achieved with. QGIS. Uh, we created customized forms where we, uh, it was easier for the users to add and uh, locate uh, the accidents. Uh, we created views because of the data set. It was easier to create, to show the data, data sets uh, could be used as layers in QGIS. And uh, in, we implemented a lot of, instead of triggers, to allow editing through QGIS. Here is an example of this uh, app in QGIS. And our next steps is to, we have, talk, we have talks with the ministry to move the whole application into a web-based environment uh, where we're leaving the database as is. Uh, we'll use our EveryMap platform, which is a, a, an applica web JS application uh, based on Node.js, AngularJS, and Leaflet. And we'll provide them with REST APIs for an easier uh, publishing and sharing data. Thank you very much, and have a pleasant evening.